We spent last week in Little Harbor, a safe haven with a fascinating history. But it's time to sail from the Abacos to the Exumas. Cold fronts this time of year are a weekly occurrence in the Northern Bahamas. And we find ourselves in search of warmer waters and fair winds. Good morning from the Exumas. They're actually, I don't know where they officially start, but we went through Fleming Channel, which I'm going to call the line, at about six o'clock this morning. Which means we made really, really good time last night. We are about two hours away from a big coral patch that we have to run through, and then we're heading to Norman's Key for the day. Good morning. With the light that we have available right now at sunrise, I can still see to the bottom, but I can't see anything out in the distance. So if there's a coral head 10 feet ahead of us, I wouldn't know. Um, fortunately, we're on the bank right now and there's nothing on the chart, so it should be fine. But before we get to that coral area, we really need to have the sun higher in the sky so that I can help Charles at the helm, let him know what's coming up and if we need to veer port or starboard to miss a coral head. Kind of the door can be coming out, but um, a properly trimmed sail will have wind going faster over the backside than the front side. And I'm kind of being a dork right now. I'm going much faster. There is always something so special to me about seeing the moon set and the sunrise at the same time. I think it's just because it's such a unique experience to being on the water, something that I never got to see when I lived on land and, or in a big city. And um, I love it. It's never gonna get old. All right, so it's just past eight and we just entered into the coral head field, as I like to call it. Uh, it'll take us about two hours to get through the field. I'm not too worried about it this time because we have a track to follow from last time. It's dead high tide right now uh, on a full moon. So it's a big high tide. Uh, so I'm not really worried about it, but we're going to be cognizant about it anyway. Constant vigilance. Sorry, that's, that's a Harry Potter quote. Okay.
time this really well. The sun is just high enough that I can see really clearly out there. And <laughs> it's a good thing because the map looks insane. I feel like we're going through a coral head minefield. But good thing we have lots of depth. I can see clearly now the coral heads. I can see all obstacles in my way. It's going to be a bright, 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 bright sunshiny day. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're I'm so really sorry. sorry. <laughs> We've got just a couple miles left in the Coral Head minefield and then maybe an hour or two after that uh, until we get to Norman's Key. And this is just one of those sails that just worked, right? And we are by no means expert sailors. We learn something new every single time we put the sails up. Uh, and even when we don't, but the days where things just go according to plan, where they everything just works, you have an answer for everything. This is something we set our minds to years ago, and it just makes me proud, happy, content, just good vibes all around this morning. Um, so if you're ever thinking about doing something like this, why not? Just go for it. One of those things that we've learned is that it's generally a lot easier to pull on the lines by hand than to use the electric winch and it's also better for the lines and the sail and all that stuff so it lasts longer it takes less time and let's get these sails down I'm moving on. We're here! We got off the mooring brawl in Little Harbor yesterday at about 4.30 p.m. and dropped the anchor here in Norman's Key at 1.30. So just about a 21 hour sail. And uh, it was about 110 nautical miles south. And that 110 nautical miles this time of year is crucial because in the Abacos, you get a cold front that comes through about every three or four days and the farther south you go the more you can avoid so here we might get one every week if we get a little bit farther south we might even get every two weeks a young man hard land a bad hand out on the interstate one dream and between the young scene out on the interstate I put the old man's word aside on the highway the great divide young girl a rapper cold Untamed, a new game out on the inner 
distance. No, your smile can get you far, but the world can break your heart. And it feels like it's forever. Is that the way you do it? Yeah, that's great. Sexy. Don't you wish that you could fly? So the Exumas are famous for their beautiful, clear blue water, but Norman's Key used to be infamous for its drug cartel that lived on the island. And this sunken C-46 plane is one of the relics of that time. It sank here and it has become a great place for snorkeling and for fish and just a really cool like little excursion of the island's past here hanging out right where its crew left it when it crash landed in the 80s. No good piece of history comes without a little bit of an urban legend and the stories about how this plane crashed or why are just everywhere. My, my favorite kind of outlandish one was that it was carrying so much cocaine that it couldn't handle the load and that's why it crashed. Uh, it probably wasn't it, but as told by a guy that worked for the cartel at the time, he says he was on the island at the time, uh, it's as simple as the captain was a bit of a drinker and um, liked to fly with a six pack in tow. And when he was leaving the landing strip over here, he took off and actually damaged one of the propellers and then tried to right side himself, but couldn't quite get control of the plane and crashed it here. And fortunately for him, there were a lot of people on the island. Somebody hopped in a boat, came over there, got him and his passenger. They were totally unharmed. So, it's not quite as scandalous as people like to make it out to be, but it is an awesome place. Nothing better than a sundowner at sundown, especially after such a great day. So I feel like it's been a solid two or three months of us on the move and we're finally at a place where we can slow down and relax a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so we don't plan on having any more overnights for the next three, four, maybe five months, not sure. Um, just gonna spend some time in the Bahamas, spend some time enjoying each other and this.
I think that I have gotten in and swam more this year than I had all last year combined. It is such a relief to have some of the basics figured out and to just be one step further along in the journey of knowing what in the world to do. Speaking of, uh, a shark just swam by the boat and I didn't even freak out. So we've come a really, really long way. And uh, cheers to that and to you. And thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.